Good afternoon. Welcome to the 2023 National Meeting of the National Academy of Engineering. We call it the NAE. Our theme today is touching every corner of our lives. We are pleased to have our NAE members and guests who have taken the time to join us today, both in person and virtually, with us. So I, I ask the members of the National Academy of Engineering and their guests to please stand so we can acknowledge them. Now, I told them to be careful because the young people in the audience ask tough questions. So I said, let the other people answer them first before you venture in, because it gets difficult. An enthusiastic welcome to the many students joining us today. You are the future of engineering, the future. And it is our pleasure to share with you the value, power, creativeness, and excitement of engineering. I extend a sincere thanks to the two high schools that are here, and I'm gonna acknowledge each high school, but the goal when I call your name, I would like the students in that high school to stand and make as much noise as you can, <laughs> all right? So I'm gonna start, I'll do it alphabetically, Cabrillo High School from Long Beach. Could, ba could barely hear you. Okay. And, and the students from Samueli Academy in Santa Ana. Okay. And I know you've come to arm with questions for our speakers today. I'd also like to acknowledge the, uh, I'd like to acknowledge the teachers that are here and counselors from both schools. Thank you very much. If you would stand, the teachers and, uh, uh, what is that? <laughs> As you grow older, students, you will find out that this teacher is the most important persons in your life outside your family. This afternoon, we are fortunate to have with us four distinguished engineers who were selected by NAE from among participants at the Granger Foundation Front, uh, Frontiers of Engineering Symposium as the 2023 Lillian Gilbreth Lectures. Lectures. The Gilbreth Lectures recognize outstanding early career engineers who are especially gifted in the presentation of their engineering ideas. And I emphasize the word presentation because you can learn a lot just by watching these people give a talk. Launched in 2001, the Gilbreth Lectures are funded by the Armstrong Endowment for Young Engineers, which was established by NAE member and former IBM executive John Armstrong. The Gilbreth Lectures are named in honor of Lillian M. Gilbreth, a pioneer in the field of management theory who is best known for her work in industrial engineering. But Lillian Gilbreth was much more than that. In fact, to say Lillian Gilbreth is a remarkable person is an understatement. Let me share with you a few facts about the remarkable woman Lillian Gilbreth. She received her bachelor's degree in English literature in 1900 followed by a master's degree in 1902 from the University of California, Berkeley. She completed her PhD in psychology from Brown University, achievements quite remarkable for the time, especially for a woman. By the way, at that time, women did not have the right to vote. That tells you how long ago that was. This is not your typical engineering background. No degree in what we call engineering but you turn out to be one of the most remarkable and best engineers the country had to offer. She, along with her husband, engineer and inventor Frank Gilbreth, formed a formidable research and development team. 
Lillian's training in psychology easily transferred to time and motion studies. And through research, often involving their 12 children, she demonstrated how companies and industries could improve their management techniques, efficiency, and productivity. Lillian's husband passed away early on, a very young man, and she found herself a widow. So think about this for a moment. In terms of the times, it's 1924. She holds a PhD. She's 46 years old, and she's suddenly a widow with 12 children. Remarkably, Lillian found the fortitude and pers perseverance to continue along her path as both a professional and a mother. For more than 40 years, Lillian's career combined psychology with the study of scientific management and engineering. She broke new ground in the area of assistance to the disabled. And among other achievements, she designed the layout of an ideal kitchen for a person with a heart condition. In 1935, Lillian became a professor of management at Purdue's School of Mechanical Engineering. So think about those degrees, and then she's a professor of mechanical engineering. And she became the country's first engineering, female engineering professor. Today, she is acknowledged as the founder of the field of industrial engineering. And Lillian Gilbreth was the first woman elected to the National Academy of Engineering. She was elected in 1965, one year after the founding of the Academy. Lillian and her husband Frank and their time in motion research are memorialized in the subjects of the book and subsequent movies, Cheaper by the Dozen. Her, two of her children wrote that book, and then the follow-up book, Bells on Their Toes. So we honor Lillian Gilbreth for her perseverance, her fortitude, and pioneering spirit. She shows us that engineering opportunities are as unique as the individual and can be tailored to your individual interests and passions. Today's Gilbreth lectures highlight the myriad disciplines of engineering and the diverse opportunities within engineering, from design of space systems, to prevention of infections, to 3D printing, to decarbonization. Engineering offers something for everyone. There will be a little time for questions and answers after each lecture. Please feel free to ask questions. In fact, it's a requirement here. Your teachers expect you to ask questions. So th start thinking now of the questions. This is your opportunity to find a spark that ignites your interest.